Welcome inside a special edition of SVG On Demand. Brandon Costa from Sports Video Group. Have the distinct pleasure to be joined by a very good friend of SVG. He is Chris Taylor, Senior Director of Sports Production at Ball State University. His program, his school's program, Ball State Sports Link, uh, you know it well if you followed SVG <laughs> over the years, has expanded with a new facility, uh, new programs expanding, uh, really exciting times in Muncie, Indiana. So we figured it was a good time to check in with Chris. Chris, it's always a pleasure to see you. How you doing, sir? Thank you. It's, uh, it's good to be with you guys again to, uh, to just talk sports and, and what we're doing at Ball State, too. It's, uh, it's always good to join you, Brandon. Yeah, I can't wait to talk to you for 10 minutes and not ask you about COVID protocols and all those kinds of things. Really exciting times for you. Uh, on October 8th on your campus, you had a ribbon cutting ceremony for your new uh, operations facility uh, on campus in your TCOM department at Ball State University for Ball State Sports Link. Uh, a new graphic logo redesign, more space for your students to work in. Let's talk about the physical space first. Take us through what it was a part of this expansion and what's new to your facility at, at Ball State. Well, yeah, we're, we're really, really excited about uh, the growth that uh, the program has had and now in uh, it also matches a, a physical footprint of our space on campus. Uh, on October 8th, Thursday, October 8th, we, uh, we officially opened up uh, an expansion of our facility, which essentially doubles the size of our physical footprint on, on campus uh, in our lab and classroom space, which is really, really good. Uh, includes a, uh, a mini, what we're calling a, a, a studio, but uh, ideally a social media originate live social media programming in that concept. Um, additional edit stations for our students, uh, more collaborative space where uh, not only just for our students, but our student athletes can come in and we can, we can round table and, and talk about stories and ideas and projects, uh, a conference room. Uh, just really, uh, it's exciting to have, uh, have more space for our students. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, the commitment by Ball State is, 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 is really special. So the, whether it's live, whether it's post-production, uh, the space and the technology are nice, uh, but it always comes back to the core of storytelling for you and your <laughs> program. So what does this expansion, aside from the physical space, uh, allow your students to do that uh, maybe they couldn't do before in terms of that commitment to storytelling? Well, I think one, that just uh, the amount of creative space uh, where we can, uh, we can game plan and we can uh, create ideas and stories, right? Um, <laughs> I personally am excited about a, a new conference room that we have that has a, <laughs> a ceiling to floor whiteboard uh, Ooh, where nice. I know we will be, uh, we will be uh, originating stories and ideas and, and uh, scenes and doing those sorts of things as, as a group and in individual meetings with students. But uh, I think first it's just the space where we can collaborate, uh, where we can get together and, and students can get together and, and uh, really flesh out stories and, and find creative ways to tell them. Uh, and then I also think the, uh, the studio space is, a, is another way that we can add to our storytelling. Uh, we're fortunate at Ball State, as you know, to have um, virtual studios downstairs from our facility. Uh, we have centralized ESPN control rooms. We have the production truck. We have all those things. But we have a, a studio in our lab and classroom now uh, that is you know, literally flip the switch and we can, we can go live to do social media programming. And uh, as fast as those things happen on social media and we want to be present, it allows us to, uh, to go very quickly. And, and we were talking before we, we started, you know, a lot of different things. We're looking at some game day shows or pregame shows from that space around maybe our ESPN events. Uh, and then also um, just social media shows where if, you know, one of our football players is a Mac player of the week or an award winner candidate uh, and that's announced at 1 p.m. Then, you know, literally we could we could flip that switch and go live at 102 p.m. And uh, and if that athlete is near our facility on campus, hopefully they can stop by and we could do a quick uh, live live program with them. So uh, I think that's going to elevate a lot of what we do too, um, giving more exposure to our student athletes, frankly. Sure. Yeah, that opportunity to pounce. Uh, and start creating content in a live environment. Very, very exciting from a content standpoint, but I'm sure a fantastic educational opportunity uh, for your students in this sports media world where literally things are just like bang, 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 bang. The ability to react in that environment, I'm sure is a valuable exercise for them. 
Um, I want to talk a little bit about esports with you because that's another exciting growth uh, avenue for you guys. Um, in Muncie, uh, you've created or you're supporting your esports program, uh, recreating a dedicated team that Alex Cartman, your longtime co pilot uh, at Sportslink, is uh, playing a pretty major role in. Uh, so, how does esports content specifically and the efforts dedicated towards that uh, factor into this new space that you have? Yeah, I think, uh, well, into this new space, this space will, will primarily be uh, sports link, but there will be uh, collaborative spaces and meetings and, and different things. And, and that studio I was mentioning could be a spot where we could go live with with also esports news or esports programming and, and uh, you know, things like that. Uh, the other exciting part of, of what you mentioned is that uh, we are also building out about a 3000 square foot uh, esports facility. Uh, on campus, just down the hall from nice. from Sportslink, uh, and Alex has has done a, an amazing job of kind of leading that process. Uh, we have uh, we have hired a director of esports, uh, soon to officially be announced, uh, who will be a, a member of our staff. Uh, and we we recently just learned as well uh, that we'll be hiring a a third full time person uh, under our staff, uh, who will. Uh, in a sense, double between esports production and sports production uh, in the academic track as a teacher. So, uh, this was all something that was being planned and thought of before COVID, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but certainly, as we've seen, esports during the last six to seven months have have become much more uh, mainstream for maybe those who weren't aware of it, uh, and it, it just plays in very, very nicely. So. At Ball State, we're trying to figure out how do we get esports, how do we elevate our club esports team, uh, and then the university, had, you know, agreed to do a varsity team. Uh, mm -hmm. The Mid American Conference has created the esports collegiate conference uh, for just esports. Uh, so there are a lot of timing factors that went into it. And then, as always, the student experience is most important at Ball State. And how can we not just create an esports uh, team or a varsity team? But what is the academic component around that? And that'll be cross, you know, cross campus in a lot of different areas from health and nutrition to, uh, um, you know, to computer sciences. But the core of the academic program would be in esports production. So this new esports facility that we'll have, uh, in a sense, ma uh, matching kind of what we're doing in SportsLink, it will have a, a control room and a, a production control room in it so that we can originate esports programming from that new space too. Uh, so very, very exciting time uh, to see all the different ways that Ball State is <laughs> continuing to grow, even in a time where, you know, there have been cutbacks and some questions. Uh, I'm just very, very grateful for that. Yeah, it's fantastic to see the continued commitment to this program, which has uh, continued to grow so well over the years. Uh, adding to the list of things and reasons why I wish I was an incoming freshman right now and going to Ball State University, uh, you guys have a pretty interesting partnership with a, a, another academic institution across the pond in Wales, Cardiff Met University. You guys actually went out there, took students to Wales, to that campus, uh, for a project based out there, like literally right before COVID hit. So that was, I'm sure, an interesting logistical thing that we could talk about over beers at another time. <laughs> but uh, why this partnership? What do you guys get and what are you able to give in return in a partnership with a school like this uh, in, in Wales over in the UK? And, and what has kind of come as a result of it, even in the months following when maybe the COVID shutdown uh, uh, occurred, how, what has this partnership meant for you guys as a university? Well, very proud of this too. I think uh, uh, you look at a lot of different things and, and we've had success at Ball State, you know, both with our program and, and a lot of different things, but this is one, this is one of those legacy type things. I, I truly believe where, you know, we've expanded beyond just our state and our campus and, and even the United States to, to uh, a global brand in a sense. Uh, partnering with, with Cardiff Metropolitan University. Uh, they were starting, they're in year two, uh, year three now, I guess, of a sports media production program at Cardiff Met. Uh, and their director, Joe Towns, uh, literally is developing a, a course like ours where we, you know, we're really, really unique and really the only one in the United States to do four years academic track of, of sports production. Uh, 
they were looking for someone to, uh, I guess, mentor or to like get information as they were trying to build a similar program, the only one in the UK. Uh, so a, a Google search brought Joe to me uh, and uh, we connected uh, about three, four years ago now and uh, have shared pedagogy and philosophies to kind of help them get their program started. And the natural next step of that uh, was connecting students. And so uh, we've been doing virtual uh, Skypes or virtual workshops or lectures, if you will, and our students have connected. Uh, and then uh, this year in 2020, we took a group of 12 students to Wales uh, for 12 days uh, and we produced a documentary on the ground in Wales about, uh, you know, uh, Wales student athletes or, or uh, student athletes in the UK. Uh, it ended up being just an amazing project. Super proud of my kids for, for what we did on the ground in those 12 days. Like that's, that is literally immersive learning on the ground and one take shoots in many cases, because we mm. couldn't necessarily go back and, <laughs> and do it again. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so th from that came a, a 76 minute feature documentary that uh, has just been so, so proud of that. Uh, and so that continues to get airplay. And now the next step, you know, when, when the world and uh, uh, public health allows, uh, we'll be bringing Cardiff Met students for a similar trip to Ball State. And then the following year, Ball State students would go back to Cardiff Met and it would be an every other year thing uh, where uh, they're immersed in our sports and we're immersed in their sports. Uh, and both of us are producing content uh, from it. So exciting. Yeah, really, really exciting stuff. Chris, you know this, we're always impressed with what you and the program are up to. Um, but in this circumstance, we're also very, very happy for you, Alex, everyone at the team. Uh, you guys have worked hard at this. So to see this continued expansion, especially uh, in a year like this with so many challenges, uh, really tip of the cap to you guys. We're very happy for you here at SVG. And thanks so much for joining us uh, and agreeing to talk to us about it. Absolutely. We, we appreciate and uh, value uh, SVG and, and you and, and everyone there to uh, to help us do what we do. So thank you as well. All right, Chris, thanks a lot. He is Chris Taylor, Senior Director of Sports Production at Ball State University. You can learn more about them uh, over at sportsvideo.org and watch more SVG on-demand content.